As the sun sets on Spooky Town, the fog's gonna roll in. And I think, I think, About I think we're done. We toasted of course. To profit. Thank you, Mr. Investor Guy, for once again ruining my riveting beginning to my episode. Uh, I ended up choosing the big church. I think the stone fits better with the aesthetic that we're going for here. Ooh. Did you see that? The fog actually did roll in. That was pretty cool. I did. I thought once it showed up, it was there. But it literally rolled in. That was pretty awesome. I swear. This game amazes me all the time. That That is a small detail that that the developers of this game thought of, that is just another example of the things, the detail, the attention to detail in this game is fantastic. Except, <laughs> except <laughs> when you're in your decorative area and you go right here and you click on the flower to par the flower pot and it's not in here, it's over here. But <laughs> but I digress. Okay. <laughs> all right. So back to Spooky Town. Let's see if we can get the little panoramic gimmick going. Maybe, maybe actually let's pretend that the sun didn't actually just set. <laughs> let's put it at evening time so we can actually see what I did. Where can I put... Let's see, if I put it like this. Maybe right here. And then we'll go F3. And we go G. And we go F3 again. There we go. All around town, we put a little... I filled in trees and bushes and wells and clotheslines and the little city lights and the obelisks. And just filled in all of the gaps with things that hopefully make sense. Hopefully. But it really, I love the way this came together. For something that I hated so much in the beginning, I am pretty happy with it now. Didn't think I would be, but the, yeah, this the church does look much better. One thing I did do is I added this Forgotten Abbey that we just kind of threw down here on the edge last time. I put another one over here. We'll go check it out right now, actually. Oops, that's the wrong button. Uh, where are we going? Okay, so we come through town. We've got our creepy statue lady right here. He leered to one side and dropped his snap. All over Here's our pub. At the end of the road for the pub, we have another Forgotten Abbey. My thought process here is that once this was like a some sort of part of the town, but it has been neglected. No one pays attention to it anymore, and the, the forest is kind of overgrowing on top of it and taking over. That's kind of my thought. I didn't know what to put down here. It was kind of... I think, I think it works. It's as if this was actually a big area and that all of this has overtaken and this is all that's left, is what my, kind of my thought process was. We went through, same thing on this side, same concept. The forest is kind of taking over the backside here. What once was an, a gathering place is no longer. Yeah, I like the big church. The big church does work around here. We added some more trees in here to break up the... Add some height. Oops. There we go. To add some height to the mainly flat decorations in here. Finished up the graves. Mixed all the graves up in a somewhat random order so that hopefully they don't look too... To uh, same, too samey. <laughs> That's not a word, but to. We added some. What's the word? What is the word I'm looking for? It's um. We made made them different. How's that? Man, it's early in the morning. Sorry, brain's not working yet. So Spooky Town is pretty much complete. I like it, and and thank you everyone in the comments. For all the stories. <laughs> I love the plague and the the disease and everything that took over this town and it became the dark. I, I'm glad that everyone else embraced the darkness with me. 
on this pretend journey into this town. That was pretty awesome. So <laughs> if <laughs> go check out the comments if you want to see some of the uh, the stories on episode 141. Yeah. Or no. Was 141? 140. On 140. Sorry. The comments. Pretty awesome. Wait, now, now I'm confused. Hang on, I gotta look at my list. This is 142. 141, I built it. 140, I talked about it. Yeah, I talked about it 140. Built it in 141. And then this is 142. Yeah. So, anyways, whatever. Check out all the comments of all the videos and you'll see riveting conversation. How about that? Or not, but definitely one of the two. Okay. Now, we did build some more people to some more workers here. They are spooky, but they are still our workers. So let's go and check out what Revolution. they need. Yeah, we're having a riot. <laughs> Great. Thanks, buddy. Um, class of people by class of people. The investors are completely full with everything Finally, they need. It's over. What do we get? I believe engineers are still missing medicine, I think. Yep. And artisans, I think, are full. Let's go check and make sure. I am humbled. Yes, but workers need some work. So let's work on them. We did a lot of decorating in the last couple of episodes. Let's do some production. We need beef clay pipes which might be a problem and penny farthings which also might be a problem before i turn these on let me check everywhere else that i have workers we don't need to be nighttime everywhere else <laughs> there we go uh there's nobody here we need to go to devil ray i don't think has any no North Cole definitely has some. Are all of your goods turned on? All right, you are good. So that means the old world is probably all set up. I just need to do the cape. You give us a voice. Yeah. You're good. There's nobody here. Oh, are there workers over here on Woodlands? I think no, those are just farmers. Well, let's check farmers while we're here. I think. Oh, we need to work on oh, soap. What? Soap again? Really? Are we still do? Are we really still doing this? Hang on. Soap. Do I not have an old world route bringing soap around to anybody? Just this one, <laughs> which doesn't include woodlands. Great. How about this one? You're taking everything that is made in Amelie and taking it to Shub. Well, why don't you take it over here to Woodlands too? On your way over there. But for better. Or for worse. And then it, you're taking any extra from Shub and you're not doing anything with it. You're just picking it up. Why are you picking this up? This should be happening. <laughs> yes, this. Right? Just to make sure Emily doesn't lose their soap. Even though they're making soap, we make sure they're not losing it. Because the cape is also making soap and bringing it back over here too. So they're like kind of working together. And everything's coming here. Right? Is that is that how this is going? Let's accept it. Now I need to see what we're doing. Uh, hang on, hang on. Cape to Old World Soap. I'm only bringing 50? From Chub to Shub. Cape. Oh boy. <laughs> I completely... What am I doing? There's only 71 here. But they're full, so that means there's plenty coming up here. Everything, everything from... So, here's the thing. We have a bunch of it being made on Chubb and a bunch of it being made on Amelie. Neither one of them are enough to sustain everything. So they're both shipping it to Chubb. Why is it coming here? If I'm never actually taking it back... Okay, now I get it. I get it. I get it. Now I know what I was doing. Okay. Everything's coming here. 
but this workers route is not it's staying in Amelie so that is why I was doing that okay this does not need to happen here's the here we go this is what we're doing Amelie is bringing everything down here because this actually has a need for soap to make shampoo and other things or something along those lines so that's why it's coming here yeah there's production need for soap here so that uh, okay and then the extra hundred that's coming from the cape over here and that little schooner comes here and this ship that is coming here to drop off this 200 is taking that hundred from the little schooner that came and bringing it back up here just to make sure that even though Amelie is making soap, it doesn't run out of soap. Does that make any sense? This honestly, this should probably be one of the plus minus for all six, all 300. It really should. Just do this, have a minimum amount here, and just be bringing it back. That's what this should do. Confirm. Um, right? Because... Shub. Shub needs 22 tons a minute. Emily needs three. North Coal needs one. Devil Ray needs eight. So three, one, and eight is what? 12? So this worker's route, these three islands combined need 12 tons per minute for soap. Shub needs 22 tons per minute of soap. So any extra that's coming from Amelie goes here and any extra from the Cape goes here because they need the most. Now, the question I have is in Besa, where in Besa is getting it soap from here also for the for the uh, lifestyle need. Okay. So what I should do then is set that minimum. Uh, and it's working. It's working. I don't Do I really need to? It's working. I have 1500 in Emily, 2800 in Shub. I don't need to change this. It's working. What I need is to get some of this soap up here to Woodlands. That's what I need. Yes, discard all... Nope, I did it wrong. I changed it. Let's get it back to the original way when the episode started. There we go. Whew, man, sometimes breaking these things down, it gets a little complicated when you're on episode 142. What Do I have a minimum here? That is this one. Soap. I have a minimum of 500. All right, that minimum needs to be higher. <laughs> Shouldn't it? No, never mind. I'm not changing it. It's working. Why would I change something that's working? There's no reason to. All right. We need... This is the problem. And they only need like one ton a minute. So I'm stressing about nothing here. All right. We are using this dock lands. All right. Wood is definitely something that we always need to keep going here. Because this is where our extra wood is coming from. Right? Even though it's a little bit, little bit, little bit. Why are we doing pocket watches here? That's what I need to know. <laughs> what is this for? I think it's just to keep the, the jam running. I think that's all that is, because the jam makes yeah, sugar. Stop being drunk if you're part of the gentleman. Yeah, this is making wood. All right, so these... Okay, let's review. Advanced weapons are... I know the advanced weapons are being shipped here from Shub. This island, Woodlands, makes fur... And wood and resin and jam and stuff. But we can trade for fur and wood. So to supplement whatever we don't create, we're just filling it up with extra advanced weapons. Because these are basically free based on items. So it's basically just filling up the storage here at all times. And this is for the extra cow chuck that's being shipped to the new world. Because I didn't want to build anymore on CC. So what I'm thinking is maybe this... Yeah, we don't need this if we have this. And actually, we don't need these if we have this also, to be honest. But we'll use this. And we'll make, we'll put soap here. Perfect. How 
That's, that's all. <laughs> that literally is all we have to do to fix it. Ten tons a minute. We don't. We need more. They don't even need that, so we're good. Let's make it twenty just for giggles. There we go. Right? They they need less than one ton a minute. They need some, but it's less than one ton, so zero point two or whatever. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. The ten probably would have been fine, but here uh, we'll make it fifteen. There you go. That'll be fine. All right. A completely random problem that I didn't see coming solved. Okay, so these back to what we were doing before. The workers here are full. Everybody's full. The only ones that are not are on Cape Trelawney. Let's check them out. Let's go up to these workers are boring. So let's go to Spooky Town. Daytime Spooky Town. Here, let's get where we can see everything. Daytime Spooky Town. We're going to go lifestyle. Which one should we do first? Beef? That's probably the easiest one. Let's go beef. Bam. No. We need to see what it was first. All islands beef. We're th When everything's full, we are three tons to the good. Let's turn on our Crown Falls workers. And that should be still fine. We should totally be okay. There... Ooh, that was close. That was closer than I thought. Maybe we should build one more cattle farm. Let's do that, just to be totally safe. We are. Where am I? This is Tropicana. Okay, up to Manola. Should I move the cattle farms down here? Fill in this gap that I have no idea what's going to go in this gap. Or do we just plop one down right here? Because this is just a three farm what can I do for you? area. Why do you only have 89? Yeah, we need to get some beef going. No more space here. Yeah, let's put. Let's. There's no trade union right here, right? No, there's not. Let's put it right back here. I kind of, I was, I would say put them next to each other, but no, let's just put one over here. Just because. You can fill in this whole area. Bam. Because it does not have to be perfect. Matter of fact, I would prefer that it wasn't perfect. It is a farm, and farms are not perfect, ever. Boom, and then six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There we go. We'll go with it. There we go. Tropical forest behind it in the corner back here. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Let's do that. Or do we go with like the more natural look of these? Which probably is the best way. In the beginning, when I was just starting now this playthrough, I would do everything in that. But turns out this probably looks better. I just really wish I could fill in all the tiles the way I want to, but that's not gonna work. Okay. I don't the jungle trees. I hate the jungle trees. <laughs> I hate him. When they're big, they fill in the area, but man, I just think they're ugly. There. And 
these here will fill in with actual things. What did I do? Oh, I didn't do these either. I always like having the big tree in the corner. So it looks like he built the road around the tree. They didn't want to cut the tree down. And then do this. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I like it. All right, so now we have another beef or cattle farm. All islands, cattle, totally good. All right. Now, look. is it... Yes, talk to me. Oh, look at that. Picture of health. That's right. Disease is extraordinary low and fit is a fiddle bluey. As medical experts ponder the phenomenon. <laughs> Whatever. I swear. That's a little over dramatic. Don't you think? I mean, let's think about this. Bluey. This is what we're talking about here, okay? That is a little bit over dramatic for. Here's Bluey. <laughs> Look at the phenomenon for these 14 houses. What a phenomenon. And why are you empty? You have no Taff. <laughs> okay. Why don't you have Taff? Uh, here we go. We're not. I know we're not making it here, so we need trade routes. Where is Tef? Why is Tef a problem in Besa? Because there's no Tef being shipped here anywhere in Besa. Well, all right. Let's go down this rabbit hole. We have. I know we have like 54 ships here in in Wakanda. <laughs> I mean, look at this. We have 65,000 ships here all the why are my warships oh these are the ones that were patrolling and they were just randomly here okay all right what are you you're the i'm sorry that's right <laughs> you got the land of lions oh yeah because i was going to bring the actual item to cape trelawney and put it in a museum okay that's something else another day another problem another day you're extra you're extra you're extra okay perfect which islands need Tef? Man. Um, Tef in... Right, Wakanda needs 21. And they'll, they're producing 20. So we definitely, I think, we need a Tef ship. Lobsta's making 8 and 5. You need it here? You do not. Bluey needs it. We already know that. Less than 1. Oh, you know what probably happened? I probably made a bulk delivery of it, like in the very beginning, and filled up the storage. And it's taken however many forty, a hundred episodes to go down to zero because it was using like point one tef per minute or whatever. Uh, Belize is uh, they're good, so we just need on Bluey, Lobster, and Wakanda. So if we take those three. Put them together we should be making enough in the region we are right yes so in this region we need 26 28 all islands we're short all right we need teff farms then we, one we need teff farms wherever we are making them i think it's wakanda right yeah, we're producing 20 here, and in all islands, we are producing 28. Because Lobsta was doing 8. Yes. Okay. All right. I got it under control. <laughs> Took me a minute. We're getting there. All right. Wakanda is where our main farming regions are. This is a Tef farm, the dark one. Yes. So we have room for more. Perfect. Yeah. And then Lobsta has their own on the water for the farms. Yes. Okay. Gosh, this looks ugly. This looks so bad right here. So bad. Um. Oh, that's right. In in, <laughs> I keep looking right here. No, that's usually the decorative thing. It's right here in a base for some reason. Yeah, fill this in. This looks a little better. Fill this in, too. Let's go. Give me some trees. And then the dead one's over here in the dead grass. The 
The people celebrate your leadership. <laughs> All that for like four trees. Uh, yeah, so this island is self-sustainable with their tech, right? They're actually making a little extra. Let's... What we'll do, we'll just put another Teff farm over here. We have the space. We are an Invasa, so let's put this in the middle of the day so I can see. Now, do I keep the Teff farm, put another, move this? I think I should move this. We'll move this one over. I'll uh, just put you there for now. And we'll add another one of these. Just like that. And then you, nope. Gotta go within its own self. Boom, boom. Oh, I did it again. You know what? Let's do the exact same thing. Boom, boom. Anything on this side? Um, no, I don't want to do exactly the same. Let's do the, this here. No, this is going to go there. There we go. No, I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this. Not yet. <laughs> let's see what this is going to be first. All right, let's put... We need 262, 252. It won't take much to prepare more land. That's 110. Move this one back right next door here. Right? Yes. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I did this totally wrong. You come back over here where you were. We'll adjust this in a minute. Let's put the let's get this done. You go here. No. No, it does have to go. We need <laughs> can't be yeah. There, and then this can come down here, 244. There you go. Yes. And that row can go there. There we go. Now I can do the thing I was doing before. With that little shed thing, right? Or little tent. Right there. Okay. But if we add steel plates inside, we could send it to the office. Nope, let's flip them. Yes, okay. There we go. Then this. All right, you got all your 216, 252, 252. Everybody's got your tractor, your silo. Everybody's good. All right, now that should fix the total TEF output for the whole area. We just need to get a little schooner going around in Wakanda itself and doing this. Or, 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 or. You know what? Since Lobsta is itself sustainable. We don't need to bring Tef away from here, do we? 1,200, my goodness. You know what, maybe we'll come get some, <laughs> just to bump it up. But let's take a small little schooner. That's all we Station. need. We don't need any more. I need to come up with another character name, though. We got... 
Kion, Kion, Kiara, Ono doing farming. Which is just what Bluey is producing and taking it to Wakanda. It's all they're doing. We have Timon. <laughs> we got Rafiki. Fooly. Oh my gosh, so many. Nala. We got all kinds of all kinds of characters here going on. Now I need one just for Tef. <laughs> Pumba, Simba, and the orange Pico. Pico. Picoe? Pico. Whatever. That has to change. So we need a, a, one Lion King. We need two more Lion King characters. Great. We need the, one for the Sanga Cows, and now we need one for Tef. Tef and Besa, you're going Wakanda and Bluey, and you are just making sure everyone stays full. I guess once it, it it'll be yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Once it's once this gets full, then this will stay full together. We'll go with the extra that is in Inbesa. Schooner, extra, and Besa. Bam. There you go. That's your job. Hopefully you have a new name at some point very soon. Okay. Man, I never thought that was going to be a thing. Oi. Shouldn't you be moving? Oh, no, it's this one. Okay. All right. How we got there, I have no idea. But since we're here... <laughs> since we're here... The much worried the scholars have forgotten who they are and what they owe to their homeland. I can give them a good talking to. Oh, this is the one where she gets really mad at people. <laughs> I think, right? The moot and the worry the scholars have forgotten who they are. I'm gonna give them, you know, I can give them a good talking to. I think. Is this the one where you have to go like the, we went to like Devil Ray and she was mad at him for something and now the game is saving so it's locked up for like 30 very awkward seconds of me just talking. But yeah, there was like three people we had to go see. The people celebrate your leadership. And maybe not. Self-important researcher of snails. What? What are we doing here? She fears the scholars. Move, move. There it is. There it is. Um, yep, that word. That's a word. Sent abroad or losing their grip on reality. She asked if you can bring one of the main culprits home so she can school him adequately. Oh, okay. Well, let's go find him. Not the biggest contract I've executed. Not the biggest contract. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're now we're over here on Devil Ray. Yeah, because there's the scholars. All right, let's see. He's a, look. He's he's look. He's making a difference. He's talking to the people, teaching them some stuff. I don't know what what you're mad about. All right, we picked him. Now what? Anniversary, I said. Oh. But I'm this close to the first life-size replica of a Cleopatra Ferruginia shell. That's right. Leave him alone. He's busy. The decadent party goer. Oh yeah. Where are we at now? Are we are now. This one's over here on Emily. There's no scholars here. Well, I mean, there's a university. The decadent party goers wearing the exact same outfit as the other one. So I don't know if he's very decadent. All right, let's let's select him. Oh, it was a wild night, all right. Ah, uh, get it, get it. Daddy's brat. Yep, I do remember this now. Okay, we're back. Okay, so we were up here on Emily, right here at the Variety Theater, and now we're downstairs here in the worker area for Daddy's Brat. What's Daddy's Brat doing down here? And where would you be without the fortunes my father pays Ooh. this venerable institution? Ooh, hmm? throwing it right back in her face. Grant him more freedoms than others. Let's make a decision. You've met all three spoiled scholar... That word. Which one deserves the most to be humbled and punished? Well, obviously, Daddy Pays for Everything Brat is definitely going to be the winner here. And the people that are mowing the grass outside are very loud, so hopefully that it doesn't show up on the microphone right now. Uh, Daddy Pays for Everything Brat. Probably immoral party goer, the utterly self-important researcher of snails. Well, we did this one last time, if I remember correctly. So let's not do the same thing again. We are going to take the self-important researcher of snails. 
That's who we're taking. Because this guy's, this guy's just out here partying and having a good time. No big deal. This guy, he's, he's the worst. But this guy is kind of cocky and very self-important, so we're going with him. Momentously important work. That's right. If the Lord Momentously important work. Important, he'd have made us if slugs. the Lord wanted slugs to be important, he'd have made us slugs. Well, how do you know that you're not going to be a slug in your next life? How do you know? Do you? Will be so much stronger together. Thanks, Benta, for interrupting. All right, I am completely distracted. <laughs> the lawnmower is outside the window. I, I can't even concentrate. It's just crazy right now. So we're going to awkwardly just come back to Cape Trelawney and forget we were ever in a basic. Because I, my ADHD just kicked in and I don't even remember what we were doing. Um, clay pipes. Never mind. <laughs> Ab actually, never mind. We're going back to Mbesa. We need clay pipes. I lied. Yeah, we definitely need clay pipes. First of all, clay. Yeah, totally good. All right. Uh, clay pipes. What's uh, we were seven to seven. Let's turn them on. Let's see what we need now. Bam. People celebrate your Play leadership. pipes. Just one more ton. That's good. Well, let's make sure, actually. I think the old world... Play pipes are good. Yeah. I think Docklands was handling them. I'm pretty sure. One of these Docklands... Oh, it was, it was North Coal. It was up here on North Coal. That's right. Yeah, this is the Docklands that was doing it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Old World's taking care of itself. I would like Mbesa to take care of the cape. So, let's go back. All right, now the lawnmower guy is gone. He's somewhere else in the neighborhood, and now I can think again. I swear, I was reading that story, and all I heard in my ear, my left ear, was just crazy lawnmower people, guys. And I could not think. I couldn't read. I overstimulated. Okay. Clay, tobacco, pipes. Great. I don't think I can fit any more in here. Unless I move this. We just need one more ton a minute. That which is almost exactly the amount of time it takes them to produce. My goodness. Even fully boosted. Are these fully boosted? Productivity. That's for ceramics. The potter's wheel and the industrial kiln. What do we... Do we have anything else? Clay pipes. Unknown, all islands, trade union. Okay. <laughs> um, what? Did I not click? All right, what is this thing called? Pipe maker, my gosh. There we go, okay. Yeah, the, I have this thing and I have this thing. Is there something better besides Ferris? And she doesn't bring electricity to Mbesa. Printing press is 25. This thing is 30. 30 and yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're good. Let's figure out a way to fit this in here to make some sort of sense. Is this one ceramic workshop doing everything by itself? Really? One. One building for everybody. Alright, um... Alright, the warehouse doesn't have to be here. This can be here. I mean, it could just be that easy, right? Will it still work right there? There it is. I figured it out. Okay. Yep, that's the winner. I 
keep forgetting is it's just these two yeah that are the two by two we'll go with that one right there there we go And sand. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. But if we add steel plate to the side, we could send it through the army. That's fine. Okay. Now, everybody under the trade, please tell me you're under the trade union over there. Yes, you are. All right. So this should be good. And now you can't reach it. Really? One tile? You're going to be that difficult? Fine. Here's your here's your pavement right there and right there. Okay, happy now? Perfect. Okay. Clay pipes everywhere. We're good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just barely, but we are still good. Now do we have a route going that way? I think we do. I'm taking them to the old world, but I'm not taking them. Yeah, I am taking them. Oh, no, no. This is the... This route just goes back and forth to make sure that my workers are happy up here. Okay. That one, leave that one alone. Long ago. Our land was ruled by many feuding princes. All right, Embasa is bringing them. Okay, I got it. Embasa is bringing all these things to Shub, and then they're distributed up to Devil Ray. Okay, so I need a ship going straight to the Cape. That's what we need. All right. Nine hundred. All right, we're gonna. It's gonna be touch and go here for a little while because there's only nine hundred here. But I'm going to do what I normally do. Right? Should, or should I just Ready literally take... Nope. We're going to do what we normally do. We're going to do exactly what we did everywhere else. Not going to change it up now. Why Why change it now? We're going to base it to Cape. We're going to base it. Now. This is Wakanda. Yes. To Chubb. Boom, boom. I know this is crazy overkill. Clay pipes. I think we have, we should have some reefers. There you go. All right, get on it. Get to work. Yeah, this is complete overkill, but it's fine. Cape, you're going here to here, and you are taking pipes. I mean, a cargo ship for that? I don't... I don't need a cargo ship for this. But here you are. There you go. Bam. All right, now... Clay pipes will be coming soon. This one could be a problem. We are five tons to the good currently. Before we hit play on this right here. Please, please be okay. Oh, cool. They only needed one ton. Awesome. All right. See? Everything worked out fine. So, seamless. Seamless transition. That's what I do. <laughs> that was definitely not difficult at all. Did I ever... What did that lady give me? 
the Mbesa, the 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 scholar lady, the elder. Her. What did she give me? Did she gave me something? Is it something that is useful at all? It should have this little star next to it since it was new. Is there anything? She, maybe she gave it to me over here on Devil Ray. Because that was the last. They were all on Devil Ray, correct? Items. How thrilling! What did she give me? Personage has arrived. It must not have been that important because I didn't even notice it. But then again, I was completely distracted, so I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, Alright, so all of those are good to go. Now. Yeah, this one's going to take a while. But it'll get here. It'll be fine. Now, ooh, ooh, you know what we need to do? We, we never did get Glog. Glog never actually happened. Oh, that's right. See, I even I spent all that time <laughs> decorating my city down there and up here. I totally forgot. I have expeditions that have just been waiting. I think it was the zoological one. Is that right? I believe that's where we were. Yeah, there was a Arctic thing. So basically, this one just has to come home. The way I understand it, hopefully. So hurry up and come home. The fugitive. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I already see Georgina down here. Is that her name? Yeah, Georgina. Is that is that the call your bluffy? Where's she at? Yes, that's my girl right there. All right. Local authorities come aboard looking for the fugitive you've taken in. A man in rags offered you his services in a port saying he'd do any odd job for some food and the chance to join your crew. The captain agreed to take him on. He, he soon grew on your sailors, working hard and f filling in wherever needed. But above all, he has proven a man of principle, a champion of the vulnerable, and as such, the crew have learned to respect his silence on the matter of his past. So it looks like he is just like a guy who made some mistakes, down on his luck, and he's trying to turn his life around. Right? That's what this seems like to me. So I think... Now, granted, he still was a fugitive, so he is kind of shady. So do we trust him that he's trying to turn his life around or do we think he is going to hmm let's see um pretend you haven't seen him 55 they'll have to fight you for him 55 offer to pay his bail hmm local authorities but we have Georgina they don't have Georgina we have Georgina. And we have Constable Chaos, right? I mean, granted, she's not going to be involved, but let's say you're going to fight Georgina and she's going to call your bluffy. Standing just behind her over her shoulder, you will see a lady named Constable Chaos. And I don't know about you, but I ain't messing with her and I ain't messing with her. So... I think. I mean, look, she's got her gun strapped up to her back, too. I mean, come on. Georgina with this big hat. I mean, I ain't messing with her. That's intimidating in itself. You know she's got, like, a big cape. One of those big giant jackets. <laughs> those power jackets that the pirates wore back in the day. I'm going with Georgina. You ain't, you ain't gonna beat Georgina. Boom. Uncertain shores. The officials seem undaunted. Ooh. That's a, that's a bad move by them. Oh, I think I, I think we have a little. To, I oh okay. Oh, I think we have little to fear from a ship as ill-equipped as yours. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Still, from your hostility, it's clear you're hiding the man we seek. They signal back to their own vessel to ready arms. Now, think carefully. Do you really want to refuse to give him up? All right. Okay, so we got a problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our problem. We don't have any guns. <laughs> Dang it. I called their bluffy, and I think I might have... This this might be bad. Okay, so we have a Great Eastern, which doesn't have guns. And we have this lady with her gun strapped to her back, but we, we weren't expecting an entire ship to start shooting at us. That being said, Georgina is a pirate, and she gives us 55 naval power.
Constable gives us hunting, so she can, you know, she can shoot from long distance. Right? She can spot the, the she can hit the sniper. The snipers that are up here, <laughs> she can get them. All right, she takes those out from the top. And Georgina, with her naval power and pirate skills, we're doing it. We're taking Georgina. We're standing by her. It's a point... Oh, no. <laughs> that might have been bad. It's a point-blank exchange in which your ship managed to get the first shot, disabling half the men opposite. Okay, all right. As such, the return fire is not so crippling as it might have been, although significant repairs will still be needed. As the two ships drift apart, the officials are left helpless. Cos or comic isolation on your ship's deck. As the two ships drift apart, the officials are left in oh are left in helpless comic isolation on your ship's deck. Someone gives them a good old shove overboard, forcing the other ship to return to rescue them. Your crew make their escape. I will burden you no further, says the fugitive wearily. Please allow me to alight at the next opportunity. I'm assuming that means he's going to get off the ship at the next port. I'm, I'm assuming that's what this means, which I don't think I, I, I kind of like him. I'm going to keep him around. If that's what that word means, I'm, I'm sad he's going to go. <laughs> but again, I'm not really good at the English language, so <laughs> you know how that goes. 